Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I recently bought some fishing tackle from a website called fishdeal.co.uk and I thought now it's arrived today I'd show you what I've bought and uh, we'll have a look at the stuff and I'll give you my first impressions on it. You might be thinking about using this site. I think the company's based in Rotterdam, um, so they're overseas. I haven't used them before, but now I've used them, I can give you an opinion on what you can expect. This video isn't sponsored or anything. I use my own money to buy these items. So I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so here's some of the stuff that I bought. Um, I've just got my sort of receipt here to check the prices that I paid. So let's start off with this net. I bought this net, Ultimate Course Fishing Net. So the, the brand is called Ultimate, and this is the Ultimate Course Fishing Net. It's 50 centimeters by 40 centimeters, and I paid £9.95 for this net. Here is the net. It's a rubber net, so um, I think they're better if you know if you get fish slime on here, it comes off easier and it doesn't smell so much, it doesn't absorb it because it's made of rubber. Um, it's got some nice black sort of aluminium, I think this might be, I'm not sure, around the edge. It's got the brand in here, Ultimate, the spreader block at the bottom. Let me just move this around. The spreader block is metal as well, nice black metal, and it's just got a cap on here to protect the thread. There's the thread. I'm not sure what kind of metal that is, but it's got like an Allen key fitted in the bottom as well. In case that comes loose, you can tighten that up. And it's got the O-ring. Feels quite solid and strong. I'm pushing that and putting a bit of pressure on there, and it's not really giving at all. And it's got that metal spreader block, so. First impressions are very good, very good quality, well made net, I would say, for under £10. A good all round net. So that is the net. Now, moving on to all of this stuff, I bought um, a complete feeder set. So I needed a feeder rod, I don't currently have one. I wanted one with the tips that you can push in. And um, I thought I might as well just get one off this website. I just wanted a cheap one and I went for a fiberglass one intentionally because uh, they tend to last a lot longer. They're more robust in my opinion. If you if you buy a, a, a nice carbon fiber one, they're much more delicate and I don't really need that kind of uh, that kind of rod. I just need something that I can put in the car, go fishing with, don't have to worry about damaging it. Uh, it's cheap and cheerful, that sort of thing. So I bought this set. So this set cost, it's called the Ultimate Complete Feeder Set and it cost me £41.75. And by the way, all of the, uh, the items, I've got free postage because if you spend over a certain amount, you get free post. I'm not sure what that amount is, but I spent just over that. And the postage, I think, without that is about six to seven pounds or so. So it could be worth getting the free postage and buying a few more items if you can get the deals. So £41.75 for this kit. So this is what you get. You get um, fishing line, ultimate superior nylon line. There's 300 meters of line there, 0.23 mil diameter line. So it's some like six or seven pound feeder line, 300 meters. So you get a bulk spooler line and it's gray in color. You get three of these uh, round cage feeders. So there's three of those. Uh, you get some hooks to nylon. Uh, I didn't know these were barbed, so I probably won't use these. I don't tend to use barbed hooks, but they came with it anyway. Uh, ultimate feeder system, some kind of rigs there connected to what they're connected to fluorocarbon to some swivels just to help you with your feeder rig uh, it came with a reel so for 41 pounds what was it 
75. So under under 42 pounds, you get a rod and a reel and these items. I think that's really cheap. The Ultimate Spirit Spin 4000 Fishing Reel. I might do a review on this reel at a later date. I'm not sure yet. I've already had a quick look at this. I'm quite impressed with it. Um, it doesn't, doesn't have a spare spool, but it's a, a nice looking reel and it feels good too. Here's the reel. It's nice and smooth. Um, nice capacity on here. It'll probably take quite a lot of line to fill it. That's probably why you get that bulk spool. Clutch sounds nice. I like it. I like all the black and just the colour in general. The the skin, the theme they've got going there. It looks really cool. Front drag, real ideal for feeder fishing, uh, for larger fish as well. Could use this for some pellet waggler fishing. You know, some some carp fishing, that kind of thing. On the feeder, it's not a free running reel, but it's front drag. Good quality reel, I think. Doesn't have a space ball, but from what I can see, it looks decent. So that's that. And then the final thing is the rod. This is called the Ultimate Recruit Feeder. It's 3.3 meters, that's 11 feet. Casting weight 20 to 60 grams. So a general feeder rod. Um, I was gonna get a 10 foot, but I decided to get an 11 foot makes it a bit more versatile and as I say this is a cheap, cheap and cheerful rod don't have to worry about it getting damaged quite hard wearing and it's quite plain looking as well I didn't want something a lot of the rods that I was looking at have quite jazzy patterns on them or weird colours like bright orange I didn't want any bright colours and I'm not too keen on the core candles either um, I do prefer the feel of a core candle, but I'm not keen on the look. But anyway, here is the uh, the rod. Just a plain black rod, again made by that company, Ultimate. Uh, not much to say really, it's just um, a three piece. I prefer three piece rods. I always have three piece. Here are the three pieces, and then it came with as well, some pushing tips. So, up until now I've been using um, quiver tips and swing tips. Very old fashioned, I know. But I've never had one of these feeder rods with the pushing tips. <clears throat> and I fancy getting one. So it's got a tube with two tips. As I say, I might do a review on this as well at a later date. I'm not sure yet. But here are the tips. There's a green one. I think the, the green one is a bit more heavy duty and then there's the orange one for the lighter work so these just push into that end section and away you go and that is it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move all this out of the way and I'm going to show you the feeder chair that I also bought um, it's quite interesting it's got all attachments on it but we'll have a look at that in a moment Okay, so the feeder chair came in this box, Ultimate Rotterdam. So everything was well packed, no problem with the packaging. And then the chair, here is the chair. It came in its own carry bag. So what I was looking for was a cheap budget feeder chair that I could use for feeder fishing and also use for carp fishing when I want to go carp fishing take it to do that and I wanted something lightweight useful and cheap so I paid for this chair with all its accessories £55.40 very cheap and I think um, it's it's any feeder chair for that price uh, would seem to be a good deal so it has this bag Nice material, Velcro top. I've already had a look at this earlier on and took all the packaging off. Um, we'll just get that out of the way and all the bits. Okay. So 
yeah, there's the bag. Not a bad bag at all. It's got the carry handle on the top. Okay. And then it came with all of these accessories. I'll probably upgrade these accessories at some point, uh, especially these heads. Came with these feeder heads. They're not excellent quality, but I didn't expect them to be. And I can just add my own on here anyway. They're okay, they'll, they'll do the job. There's the other one. So this chair allows you to attach arms to it to uh, add your rod rest and your bait tray. It came with four of these. So you've got one for the front rod rest, one for the back rod rest, one for the bait tray, and then one for other items. You might be able to attach an umbrella on there somehow, or a bait waiter, something like that. So let's start off with looking at the bait tray. The bait tray, nice size, as you can see, quite a large size. It's got the little holes in each corner in case it gets wet to let the water out. It's already got the attachments in here so that it fits onto the pole that you're given. But you could take these out and you could actually use these on a seat box as well. You can see there's different size fittings there. So this would probably fit on um, most seat boxes as well. So very lightweight tray, it's all plastic quality. It's not excellent quality. It's a little on the, the plasticky flimsy side, but um, I didn't expect a lot at this price point and it will get the job done. And more importantly, it's very lightweight. You can see it weighs almost nothing. So as long as you are careful with this, it should be good. I'll look after it, it should be all right. Uh, and like I say, there's these four attachments. Two of them have got adjustable heads on to get your rod rest at the right kind of angle and height. And then the other two, one of them is just flat at the end there. And the other one has a thread in the end so you can screw some onto it. And these all fit into the chair. So here is the chair. It's a very basic, straightforward chair. It is nice and lightweight. I can tell you now it's, it's very light and it packs down very slim, really slim, really lightweight. And these legs don't flop out. They kind of hold their position. They're adjustable legs. All four legs are adjustable. As you can see here, height adjustable legs, all four. They've got these mud feet on. Hopefully they'll hold up long enough. So it's just a standard sort of budget chair, but it has these areas attached to it, welded to it. And these lock in place, by the way, the, the legs, they lock down. There's a lever that allows it to lock into place. Here's the chair. And you can see here are the attachments. So for example, you push your arm into here and you can tighten it up and then you can add something on here uh, like a rod rest head or the bait tray will go on here not on this one actually let me just swap this out These lock into place nicely. Bait tray can then go on. Like so. And you've got your bait tray on there. Difficult to film, it's raining outside so I'm doing it in the shed. But you get the idea. No problem there. So potentially a very useful chair. It is just a standard basic chair, no frills. There's not much to say about the chair. Um, the front and back legs do have a little lock pin, which I like, so you know that they're not gonna fold in on you and you're not gonna sort of fall over while you're fishing. And a lot of the green of the can, uh, this, this, this material is a nice shade of green. These attachments, once they're screwed in, they're relatively solid. 
there's not a problem there really. Decent, decent enough. As I say, I mean the bike tray and the two rod rests are a little bit on the low end side. I mean, I don't know how long these will last. They probably won't last years. I mean, it will do the they will do the job, but who who's to say how long they will last? And anyway, you can always replace these quite easily. Even the bait tray, you could always buy a bait tray anyway. But there's nothing really wrong with it. It's it's functional. It's a good size. So for that kind of price, £55.40, I've got a chair, I've got a bait tray, I've got two rod rest heads, and I've got all the attachments that I need to put it on. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, I don't know how long this chair will last. It seems okay. I like the look of it. It seems okay quality. It should last a couple of years or maybe even longer. I don't know. But um, my first impressions of it are it, it's good for the the money, good value for money, and uh, I'm going to start using this soon for some nice relaxing ledger feeder fishing. So for all of these items, including delivery, I paid a total of a hundred and seven pounds. 10 pence so in summary then for 100 pounds uh, 107 pounds and 10p i've got myself a feeder rod with changeable tips i've got a reel some line some end tackle there's two rod rest head heads here there's these four attachments for the chair i've got myself a chair a bait tray and and a landing net head. So let me know what you think. I think I got a pretty good deal there and I'm impressed with what I've received with the quality of service. Um, I had tracking information, everything came on time, reasonable quality, and I'm happy with uh, using the website. So I'll probably be using them again in future. As I say, this video isn't sponsored. Um, I just thought I'd share with you my experience and what I bought because I was a bit dubious about, I like to only use sort of UK websites. I don't really like to use websites that are out of the UK, but um, I had a good experience. So if you'd like me to do any reviews on any of these items of tackle, please let me know in the comments of the video. Um, I'll probably do a review on this chair, but if there's anything else, please let me know. Okay, so that is about it for um, the sort of unboxing tackle show of what I bought. Hope you found this useful if you're looking to use their, their site, if you're thinking about using them. I think they do some good deals, in my opinion, and on some days they reduce the prices further. So if you can find one of those days when they do like a, a 24 hour kind of deal where they reduce prices on things, you know, you can get some good deals. So if you found this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing more fishing related videos and as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.